Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with a review of the UDI RC U945A UFO. Uh, so as you can see, this is a hexacopter, but it is kind of disguised as a UFO. So a pretty neat looking design. Um, however, with the you know hexacopters are already hard to keep your orientation with, and then when you put them in a UFO circle design like this, and all the props are the same color. This thing is so hard to keep your orientation with. Uh, you do have the camera on it here to kind of help a little bit. And it does have LEDs. Uh, you can see here on each of these you know, arms here. We've got uh, front and the, uh, the front is white. The side four are blue and the back one is red. Um, but, you know, with the placement, and, you know, they're just hard to see and they don't really help that much. And, you know, in the daylight, they're harder to see. Uh, so just, I, you know, really hard to keep my orientation with this one. Uh, but it sure does look cool. And, you know, I'm a fan of Aliens, so I think the, the UFO look is pretty neat. But practicality-wise, as far as flying goes, it is a hard one to fly. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the other stuff here, and we'll come back to the hex in a little bit. So this is our transmitter here, which we've seen with some other UDI models. Kind of a weird design. It's got these thumb pads, but it works all right for pinchers as well. Um, we got sticks and bumpers. So let's see. Um, the bumpers here work the camera. So the left bumper is for video and the right bumper is for pictures. And this is actually a five megapixel 1080p camera. So uh, pretty decent uh, camera quality. Uh, left stick changes our rates. Um, let's see. Oh, actually, oh yeah, there's buttons on the back here. I was getting confused looking at my notes or jumped ahead of myself. Anyway, we'll go back. Uh, left stick changes our rate, so we've got three different rates. Uh, the yaw rate does change, and it's a good yaw rate. Um, on the right stick turns on headless mode. Uh, left bumper two is flips, so you hit that and then move the right stick to do flips. I don't see in my notes anything about right bumper two, though. That may be like a return to home or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, that may that may do the fly backwards when you're in return to home, but I don't have that in my notes actually. Uh, to recalibrate this one, like the other UDI models, you need to do it right after you initially bind. So that first time you give throttle to bind, but before you give throttle to actually fly, you need to hold the right stick down right. If you if you arm the motors and the motors spin, then you can no longer recalibrate so you can only do that right after that very first initial up and down to complete the binding um i think that covers oh the there is a the low lvc warning uh, the lvc warning um does have an audio alert from the transmitter so it'll beep so that's pretty cool we'll move on to everything it comes with here which is a bunch of stuff uh, we do have a full set of spare props, and then we've got a bunch of camera stuff here. So there's like a different mount, and um, I, I, you know, they, their camera is made to fit a bunch of different models. So you get all this extra stuff that you don't really need, which I'm not a big fan of because then it confuses people as to what you need or not. Uh, but anyway, there's a bunch of camera stuff in there. There's a USB card reader. There's a couple screwdrivers which looks like they're actually the exact same size. I don't know why I've got two screwdrivers. Uh, this USB charging cable is actually for this thing here, which you can put the camera in and then operate the camera like a handheld camera from this. So if, you, if that was your only camera you have, you can actually you know, take it around with you or whatever instead of just having it on the quad or the hex. And so that charges this, so you power the camera from this. Um, I think that covers everything in there. And then this is the charger for our battery here, which you'll notice this weird thing. It, at first it kind of looks like a micro Losi plug, but it's actually four pegs where normally they're two. So really funky. 
and you'll notice all these wires. Well, this is actually a 3.7 volt times two battery, 350 milliamp hours. So what I think this is, is I don't, I'm, I'm so bad with electronics. I don't know if it's parallel or series. I think it's series is what they call it. So instead of having both batteries going at the same time, giving you 7.4 volts, like a normal 2S battery, this is two 350 milliamp hour batteries that go in a row. So it's essentially a 700 milliamp hour battery. And so that's why you've got all these wires because they're not actually using both batteries at the same time. You've got one goes and then the other goes. I'm pretty sure that's what's happening there. And that takes about 55 minutes to charge from that USB charger. And then that's, I've got to use the USB charger. I have never seen this plug type before and I'm not even sure what you would do for programming a hobby grade radio for that. Uh, with the camera attached, you get about 6 minute and 15 second long flights with a 10 second LVC warning. I have not flown it without the camera, so I don't know how much of a difference that makes. Uh, but it's a fairly substantial camera, so I think it may make a, a decent difference, but you know, maybe 45 seconds to a minute. Uh, but it is screwed on, so it's not like it's, you know, super easy to take on and off. Um, oh, let's look at the memory card while we're here. If I can get it out. Come on. There we go. And it is a 4 gigabyte memory card, so pretty decent size for those 5 megapixel 1080p videos. Um, our battery compartment there, and there is plenty of room, no problem getting the battery in and out. And then there is an on-off switch, so you don't have to, you know, deal with trying to get it in there and everything and get it level. You can deal with your battery, set it down, flip on the switch, and you're good to go. Uh, let's see, any more details? Um, so yeah, as far as flying it, you know, like I said, the orientation's a real, real problem with this. It also feels a little bit underpowered, and it's just a lot of plastic and motors and everything. It just, it's not super super punchy so this one is definitely more of a novelty than it is you know for fun flying or anything i think this one is you know really only if you really like the ufo look to it um, and i have already filmed my flight video and for some reason the onboard camera video it split into a bunch of different files i mean like 10 different files and they're not even a consistent length or anything. So I have no idea what happened. I think, I think it kept messing up and like crashing and restarting uh, because the, you know there's little portions of the video missing. So it's not like it was just splitting off files but continuing to film. Something went horribly wrong. Uh, so my onboard footage is going to be a little bizarre. I'm going to have to figure out how to edit all those files together so my you know picture in picture doesn't keep popping up and down. Uh, but it's not going to match up with the actual flight. The there are you know sections of the flight are missing from the onboard footage. Uh, but I do have at least enough to give you a sample of what it looks like. But it's not going to sync up well with my hat cam video. Uh, let's see, anything else to say? Nope, that covers it. So yeah, let's check out that flight footage. Alright, this is the flight review of the UDI U945A, the hexacopter with the UFO design, and it has a 5 megapixel camera on it. Pretty hard to keep your orientation with this one. You just got one white LED in the front and then one red in the back and then the sides are blue. And all the props are the same color. All the top looks pretty much the same except for the logo on the front. So a little tricky with the orientation on this one. Go ahead and give her a spin and then try out the camera. I don't know if I said it, it's a five megapixel camera, so pretty decent quality. Low rates is having a trouble fighting the wind there. There we go, there's high rates. Still a little tricky with the wind. Oh, wind's, wind's messing with it. It's got a lot of weight there, so sometimes it's a little weak on power, especially in this wind. 
I'm back. Try some flips. Whoa. Sketchy recovery in the wind. And I think if I click the right stick, I'm in headless mode. Yeah. So that's kind of neat with the UFO design. You kind of get it spinning around and then fly it. Having a little, little trouble with that in the wind. Let's see if I can lift up out of the grass. There we go. All right. Well, let's go ahead and start the camera. Make sure that's recording. Yep. See what kind of video quality we get. It tends to over yaw sometimes. I just give a little bit of yaw input and then it keeps going after that. Did I just run out of battery? What happened there? We're still going. I think I just had some problem with the wind. This thing tends to lack out on power when you're trying to fly around in the wind and doing a bunch of movements and stuff. It does have an audio LVC from the controller, so I should know when the battery gets low. Just seems to be having some, some power issues with this wind. stop the camera yeah this is kind of a weird one for a camera so I think it's probably better off without the camera and just flying it for fun you know without the added extra weight of the camera see there come on come on full throttle full throttle definitely has some under power issues Oh, there's an over yawn again. Full power, full power into the side of my car. And then it was kind of flying away there. I think with the uh, car between me and it, maybe it lost signal a little bit. Yeah, with the orientation issues on this one, it's probably better for an indoor flyer or at least keeping it close to yourself. Kind of more of a novelty than anything. Not the best flyer. Full throttle, full throttle, full throttle, full throttle. Full throttle, full throttle. Man, into the side of my car again and it's flying away again. Man. one is definitely better left indoors well I think I'm running out of juice or something it's starting to give me a lot of trouble anyway that's that that's the UDI U945A hexacopter with the uh, UFO design I think I'd probably suggest avoiding the camera on this one and going with as low weight as possible but it's really mostly a novelty it's definitely not you know a great flyer it's you know more about how it looks and stuff so anyway if that interests you check the video description for a price and purchase link uh, thank you for watching and i'll see you next time